Hello everyone, my name is Frank and I'm glad that you're here. In this video, I want to show you how we can pre-record a lecture so students can watch that lecture at their leisure. Now, this asynchronous delivery model means that we'll record the lecture and then post it so that students can go in and watch it whenever they want. But how do we capture that lecture? How do we get it? Well, Microsoft Teams offers a very simple way with a lot of functionality for us to record a lecture, create a recording of that lecture, and then deliver it to students so that they can watch it. Now, there are many tools that can do this. We could record something on our phone. We could use the built-in camera for our computers. We could uh, use PowerPoint recording. But Microsoft Teams gives us a lot of functionality in a very simple to use package. Let's go have a look. So there are many, many different tools that I can use in order to pre-record a lecture. I can record PowerPoint. I can record in Microsoft Sway. I can use on my Mac. I can use iMovie. The challenge is what I really want to do is just present my lecture. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a lecture where I'm the only participant. And I'm going to record that lecture. I'm going to share a PowerPoint. I'm going to share the whiteboard out. And then I'm going to stop that recording and let the students watch it at their leisure. So the first thing I like to do in Microsoft Teams is, let's say this is an actual classroom that I'm running, the Outdoor Adventure Club, is every classroom that I teach, I'll go in and add a new channel. And I'm just going to call this uh, my channel. And it's going to be a private channel. And the only reason that I'm doing this is so that I have a sandbox so that I can play in without students seeing what I'm doing. And, you know, if I want to maybe record this meeting before they see it. So I'll just make it private. I'll go into next. And this just creates a place where I can work alone. I don't need to add any students. I don't need to add any other teachers. So I'm automatically added. I have a nice, a nice little private channel. And this just becomes my sandbox. So that's just a little... A step that I put in there. So how do I record myself giving a lecture? I'm just going to meet. But when I when I meet here, I'm just going to meet with myself. So let's say this will be uh, my great lecture. And so I'm going to do my great lecture, whatever it might be. I'm going to give it a title because I want that to be in the recording. I can record my audio. If I want, I can I can record myself as well. I can put on a background filter. So right now you can see my messy office, but I can quickly just change that up. And now I've got, you know, if I want to have camera in there, I can have the locker rooms in here or I can make it a classroom environment. I can even upload my own background if I want. So maybe the data background or something in there. So there's a lot of choices I have. I'll just put the outdoors because it's the outdoor club. So I'm going to give my lecture from the beach. And now when I go in here, so far I haven't done anything that the students are going to see. I'm just setting up my environment. If you are going to use your camera, you want to make sure that you're looking at the camera on your computer while you're lecturing as opposed to looking down. But to be honest, the students really don't care. They just want to get the information and the lecture in a way that they can digest it at their convenience. So now I'm just going to go in and join. But notice I'm the only one in this meeting. I'm the only one here. So when the meeting starts up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my PowerPoint ready. I've got it on my desktop. I've opened up my PowerPoint. And I've also gone in and I've opened up the whiteboard. So I have both those things. And it could be any application. If you're teaching them how to use something, you could have that application open. So let's say, okay, everybody, you know, say I, I want to start. So what I'm going to do is go into my ellipse and I'm going to now start my scripted video. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the lecture. I hope that you're going to enjoy this lecture because we're going to talk about a virtual field trip. I think it's something that you'll really enjoy. So let's have a look at some PowerPoints and let's take a look at what it means to have a virtual field trip. Now, I'm going to sort of go to the side and talk as if I'm talking to you as well. Obviously, if I'm recording this, it would be the full lecture, but I'm just telling you what I'm doing while I'm doing it as well. So now I go in and I'm going to share off my PowerPoints. Now, what I can do with my PowerPoint is actually put it into a slideshow. So I have it now as a slideshow on my computer. And then what I can do is I can just quite easily, I'll just stop sharing, I'll go and share. I'm Instead of sharing the screen PowerPoint, I'm going to find here where it says slideshow. So you'll see if I go down, this is the PowerPoint. This is the slideshow. So this is part, part of the recording now. So I'm talking about the lecture, you know, lecture, lecture, learn every day. It's really cool. You know, we prefer to learn at school, but sometimes we have to learn remotely. What can we do? Well, 
if we're at home or whether we're at school, we want to make sure that we get good learning and we want to make sure that we take advantage of all the wonderful resources in the world. So you can see I'm doing my lecture as we go along. Let's go on a virtual field trip. Let's see what that looks like. And then is I just do my lecture. I can play media. You know, I can go through and say we can travel the world when we go on a virtual field trip. We'll see all sorts of sites that we can't bring into the classroom because last time I tried to bring a whale shark into the classroom, I got into a lot of trouble. And then my slideshow's over. So you can see that was just, it could be as complex as you want it to be. The point here though is in Microsoft Teams, I'm able to share that out. I'm able to share that while I'm talking and I'm recording this. So this becomes an artifact that I can then share with the students. And, I, and the nice thing about Microsoft Teams is I don't have to edit each of the elements. I just give my lecture as if my whole class was here. And I go thing, do things like go in and I'll share off the, the whiteboard here. It is important to share the application whiteboard. The built-in whiteboard does not record. Just so you know, I did a video on the channel about that as well. You want to use the Microsoft whiteboard application. And again, you're sharing it off. So the students will see the whiteboard here. This will be part of the recording. And then I'll say, you know, something like, you know, big circle, smiley face. Um, obviously, I'm not teaching art classes anytime soon. And so you can do whatever you want on the whiteboard. This is all getting recorded. And then I can have this as part of my meeting. And again, now I'm done. So I'll stop sharing. Thank you so much for watching this lecture. If you have any questions, make sure to post in the channel. So all of that good stuff. And now what I do is I just stop the recording. And that is it. That is my pre-recorded lecture. That is all I need to do in order to pre-record a lecture that I can now share with the students. So what I'm going to do is because I've done this, I'm going to leave this meeting. I'm going to end it. It's just me in here. And what's going to happen is we're going to see that this lecture in here is going to be recorded off to Microsoft Microsoft Steam. Let's just have that happen. So we can take a little while for this to process, but don't worry, it will process. And now I have this meeting and if I just hit the ellipse here, I can now get a link and share this out. So I can get a link and then post it in a channel or you can share it out with uh, specific people. Now notice when you share it, it makes it available to everybody in your organization. So you may not wish to do that. Instead, what you may wish to do is go in and grab a link to it and then We'll copy that link and we'll go over to our destinations folder and we'll just post into here maybe a new announcement and uh, new lecture, if I could type today, new lecture on virtual trip. So we're in virtual trip and then you can just paste the link in there. Now it is important to note that they will have to have an organizational account to see this recording. So if you um, have people from outside your organization, you're not gonna be able to do the pre-recorded lecture and stream for them. But most of the times, or we should all the time, have people logging into our organization rather than coming in as a guest. And now they can just watch the video at their leisure. If they click on there, what's going to happen is that video will come up and you'll see that it's a pre-recorded lecture. So you can put information in there. People can comment on it. Howdy, welcome to the lecture. I hope that you're going to enjoy this lecture because we're going to talk about a virtual field trip. I do and the whole thing there. Green PowerPoint. I'm going to find and as you can see, my lecture is being recorded or it has been recorded. And we go through, we can see everything here. There you go. And the whiteboard's there as well. So there's a good example. Well, that's a horrible thing to pause on. But uh, <laughs> that's, that's always the problem when you have this sort of thing as well. You have to make sure that you're not pausing on uh, pictures of yourself that you don't like. But the idea is that there is an example of how we can just pre-record a lecture, use Microsoft's, uh, Microsoft Stream in order to host it, and uh, then we can share it out to our students. It is important also that in the future, we'll actually see that instead of Microsoft Stream being the default location for these recorded lectures, that will actually be Microsoft OneDrive. And that'll give us even more options around flexibility. But for now, that's how we can easily do a pre-recorded -record, pre scripted lecture, which we can share with our students. 
Well, I hope that was useful. As you can see, sometimes a meeting for one can be a meeting for many. And you can use Microsoft Teams to record your lecture and then let students watch it whenever it's convenient for them or if you want to do a scripted lecture. There are some other videos on the channel you might be interested in and we'll see you the next time.